Hi there. If you're thinking of moving to San Antonio metro area, well, this is the channel for you. I'll be doing a video today about how to buy a home in San Antonio metro area in 2022. So stay tuned, all right? What's up everybody? This is Wild Lily Handy Dominguez, a realtor in the San Antonio metro area. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know anything and everything about moving, relocating to the San Antonio metro area, well, I do tons and tons of videos about our communities, events, things to do in San Antonio. So make sure you tap that subscribe button Click that little bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. You want to be the first one to hear about what's happening in San Antonio. We get lots and lots of phone calls, texts, emails every single day from people looking to relocate, move within San Antonio metro area, and we absolutely love it. So remember to reach out to us however you want to by call, text, email. So remember to call 210-999-9870 or email me on the email below. Again, 210-999-9870. So let's get with it. All right. So how do you buy a home in San Antonio, Texas and basically anywhere? Our market here in San Antonio, Texas has grown a lot and it is a seller's market. So you want to be well educated, learn the area and how best to do that than to connect with a realtor. So the realtor knows the area, is going to research it for you and is going to ask you a lot of questions in order to learn what it is exactly that you're looking for and what is your price line or price range. Okay, so you want to talk to two to three realtors until you connect with one that you feel comfortable with. You know, you got to get that connection. It makes a big difference and a realtor that responds to you. So once you got your realtor, the realtor is going to advise you to do what? Get pre-approved. So we're going to recommend you do three different lenders for you to select one. And we want you to select one it's best within the area because they know the San Antonio metro area versus a realtor that's online, a mortgage company that's online. Okay, it's better to have a local realtor. I'm sorry, a local lender. <laughs> you already have the realtor, right? So that realtor is going to guide you to the lender. And if you're from out of state, out of the city, Okay, we do a lot of things virtually and so do lenders. They have a website where you can go in and apply, get your application going, they'll talk to you and let you know how much you can afford to buy. Once we know that, then your realtor starts working for you to look for homes according to your parameters, okay? How many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, size of home, one story, two story, you know, small yard, large yard. So it depends on all your parameters. Well, we're going to write all that down and we're going to get to know you, what your activities are so that we recommend areas that will benefit you as far as your activities. So once you're pre-approved, now you know, okay, I qualified for a $500,000 home. Well, now we know what areas are going to have $500,000 homes? And where is your job? Where are you going to be, you know, locating to if you're working or if you're retired? Do you want to be in a retirement community? Do you want to be in a condominium, town home, you know, a regular home, a brand new home, lots of new construction here in the area? Okay, and San Antonio is growing. We are the seventh largest city in the nation. However, we feel like a small town. We have a lot of small communities. In fact, we have 85 zip codes that you can search for. And we have two major highways. The inner highway going out from the center is Interstate 410. The outer highway as we grew is then Interstate, I mean, Highway 1604. It's easy to get around San Antonio. From the center of San Antonio to the outskirts and neighboring cities, it can be about 25 to 30 minutes. That would be your average drive. So you want to think about, do I want to live close to my work, close to the children's schools, 
So those are things that we're going to learn about you and interact. We're going to give you our app so that you can search for properties, favorite them. I recommend properties as a realtor and we get to know and narrow it down. So you're pre-approved and we know what price range to look for. So now we're going to do the third thing, which is start viewing homes. Now you may be in another state, so you're not going to be able to view them here. Not a problem. We are in a virtual world. So I'll go videotape the home or I'll do a video call with you while I'm at the home and tour the home for you. Not a problem. During COVID, a lot of people bought homes by just viewing videos through the realtor. Okay, Zoom calls, Messenger, uh, WhatsApp. Every app nowadays almost pretty much has a video. So we're going to view homes after we select different neighborhoods okay, that meet your requirements. If you're here locally visiting, we'll schedule about five homes a day because then it gets a little bit tiring, overwhelming, unless you're only here for a couple days, then you know we can view uh, more homes in one day. But typically viewing five homes is great to go visit and look predominantly at vacant homes, a lot of vacant homes available, a lot of brand new homes, so it'll be easy to schedule them if you're in a time crunch. If not, some sellers were gonna want 24 hour notice, others will allow you know two hour in advance, some of them quickly. But if it's a home high in 500,000 or above, or even down to 300, they're going to want a little bit of notice, okay, in order to make sure that they leave the home, put their pets away or their kids so that nobody is at the home. Okay, so now we've done all the viewing comes number four. So the fourth thing is you want to narrow it down to three homes. And why do I say that? Well, because we're in a seller's market, properties are turning around quickly. They're selling within a day, getting multiple offers. So if they're a nice home, nice neighborhood, priced right, in excellent condition, there's not enough homes on our market. So they're gonna get multiple offers. So if for some reason your first choice gets an offer, then we go to the second one. If the second one has an offer, then we go to your third option. So that way we're not panicking, especially if you have a deadline, a time frame that you're going to move. So then we have those multiple homes, okay, that you have chosen. So once we choose those homes, we take the number one and we make sure through your realtor, okay, that the home is active. If it does have offers already, then realtor is going to work with you and educate you that we don't want to ask for everything, okay, because the best offer is going to get accepted. And what do I mean by best? Okay, you're uh, doing a good size down. You could do a three and a half percent down FHA or VA. However, if it's FHA or VA, a lot of times they say, okay, you ask for buyer closing costs. Well, we're going to say, don't ask for buyer closing costs because if you really want that home, you're not going to get it. If you start asking for buyer closing costs, a one year home warranty, you're going to start asking for repairs. You want the seller to pay for the title policy. You want them to pay for the appraisal. You want them to pay for the survey. Well, that's not going to work. Our market here turns around really fast on homes. I have done five offers for a VA buyer. And on our first three offers, okay, we asked for closing costs and eh, we didn't make it. There were multiple offers, you know, three, four, five offers, sometimes 10 offers, 20 offers. Oh, and another thing, homes are selling above the list price. They could sell 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 above list price. So we may recommend on this house, if you really want this, you'll want to offer 5,000 above list. Okay. And of course, we're going to look at the comparables and advise you whether that's doable or not. But sometimes when it comes down to it, it doesn't go by comparables. It's if you want that home. Buying and selling is an emotional process. And I'm here to keep you focused. Okay. As the realtor on what your specifics, things that you want, things that you're dreaming about in order to relocate here. Okay. So now we have the three homes set up. What's the fifth thing? Fifth thing is now we write the offer and we're gonna provide a clean offer. If there are multiple offers, then we could ask for buyer uh, closing costs to be paid by the seller. We may have to increase the price in order for the buyer closing costs to be included. However, then we have to be careful with the appraisal. 
we've got to make sure that it appraises. We also may schedule the inspector in advance. Okay, have an appointment scheduled, especially when there's multiple offers. Okay, so we get all these things in a row, get ready to go, because once they have five, 10 offers, okay, they're going to look at which one has the best terms. Is it cash? Does it have a, a short closing period? I could be, you know, 15 days, 21 days, 30 days, is it 45 days? Are they asking for buyer closing costs? Are they asking for home warranty? Are they asking for this, asking for that, asking for the world? Well, no, that's not how you may get your home if there are multiple offers. So as a realtor, we're going to advise you about that. I will advise you about that. Say, hey, it's got multiple offers or no, it doesn't. And so we have more room to ask for other things because as your buyer agent, our job is to get you the best, lowest price with everything that you want that's not going to kill the seller. We want a win-win for everyone. Okay, that's what it's about. Finding you your dream home, your next home, making your move to San Antonio, Texas a smooth one because it is an emotional process. Okay, and it's for me to keep you focused and with you from the beginning until the end and even thereafter. So if you have any questions about this video or any other videos that you would like to learn about, comment below to tap that subscribe button. If you like this video and you wanna learn more about the San Antonio metro areas, the communities around within 30 minutes or 45 minutes, click that little bell so that you are notified. Be the first one to get notified every time I upload a video and click the like button, okay? Send me some love. I'll enjoy it. I'm here to create more videos for you. So until next time, catch you later.